Hello there, this is Guardian Druid Mage Tower Challenge Guide in WoW Dragonflight, and let's start with talents. Here is our talent tree, you can also find it in description. Regarding gear, it's getting scaled down to 120 item level in Mage Tower. For me, gear doesn't really matter. I'm able to do Mage Tower even on level 60 character in greens and without consumables, but you can also use them. Here is the list of best consumables, they'll help you out. If you need help with Mage Tower and don't want to spend a lot of time mastering challenge, check out conquestcapped.com. It's a trusted boosting service rated with 5 stars at Trustpilot. They can complete any Mage Tower, any class and any specialization without ban and account sharing within 15 minutes. Check out link in description. The first stage of the challenge requires you to defeat Inquisitor Varus, who has an aura of decay around him. This is easily negated just by primarily using Moonkin form and Moonkin abilities to DPS from ranged. Inquisitor Varus also has two other abilities, Mind Rend, which do a small amount of damage, and more importantly, Drain Life, which must be interrupted, otherwise the boss will heal to full. He'll also summon Nether Horror from time to time. These mobs will cast a pulsing AoE. You can use Incapacitating Roar shortly after their cast finishes to interrupt. It is generally a good idea to cast Barkskin when they spawn to help pick them up off Velen and Moonfire each one of them. Also, there is Eyes spawn throughout the encounter, and you must face them while they are channeling on you. They do not take any physical damage, but one or two casts of Moonfire will take care of them. And finally, Inquisitor will summon Smoldering Infernals. They do a Frontal Cone AoE knockback when they get in range. Just sidestep or charge back with Skull Bash or Wild Charge. They can knock you off the edge, so keep an eye for them and dodge their cleaves. Infernals never truly die. Once defeated, they will respawn again, so don't waste time killing them. Just apply Moonfire and DPS the boss. The second stage is the hard DPS check. Save all DPS cooldowns, pots and drums for this phase. And if done correctly, it should only last around one minute. Phase 2 begins after killing Inquisitor Varus. The mobs from Phase 1 continue to spawn throughout Phase 2, so you will have to continue dealing with them while fighting Cruel. Cruel itself has three abilities, Annihilate, Nether Stomp, and Twisted Reflection. Annihilate is the enrage of the encounter because it's stack debuff, increasing its damage. You can survive around 3 or 5 stacks depending on your defensive cooldowns. So that's why you want to delay Annihilate by using the Holy Orbs from Velen and Mighty Bash. This will extend the enrage of the encounter. Nether Stomp is a stomp that will leave a puddle of fire on the ground that does a lot of damage. Move out immediately. Twisted Reflection is extremely important to interrupt with Skull Bash, as it will heal the boss massively and cause a wipe. However, you can use Holy Orbs to remove debuff if it goes through. There are also Purple Cutter Beams. As a druid you can comfortably just walk through them, not a big deal, but don't let them distract you from doing the mechanics or big damage. It's a short and a not complicated encounter, but in the heat of the moment, there is a lot of things that can go wrong and be frustrating, like getting knocked off for the tenth time in a row, so if you don't want to spend your time on this challenge, conquestcapped.com can help you with that, link as always, in description. Bye.